This time on True North Outdoors TV, we're running the county roads in southwestern Ontario. We're looking for spots to shore fish the canals and tributaries that feed into Lake St. Clair. Everywhere we go today, guys, is a place you can get to in a two-wheel drive vehicle. It's 30 degrees out, the sun's out, and the fish are just waiting to be caught. So follow along, guys. All right, guys, we're going to try something a little different this time. We're going to be doing some fishing, and it's going to be from shore. Uh, we're fishing the creeks and the tributaries that run into, basically, Mitchell's Bay here, and uh, maybe the greater Thames area here, depending on how the fishing goes. So stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. This is all going to be done by shore, so anybody can do this that has a fishing rod. What do we got here? Yeah, it's a little one. Yeah, a little perch. Uh, right covered in the Grubers though. Okay, to clarify what a Gruber is, <laughs> that's just my unscientific terminology for a mite-like parasite that attaches itself to the outside of fish. You see it a lot in shallow, warmer waters. Now, the parasite's harmless to humans. You just cook your fish, and this fish would be completely edible if he's a little bit bigger. But for today's purposes, we're just going to move on to the next fishing hole. Should probably point out too, while I'm farther inland now, I've switched to a number four hook. I'm just running a single that's on the uh, direct line, running a Texas rig with a live worm. I'm figuring anything in here is going to probably be a channel cap this far back inland. And I want uh, a little heavier setup in case I do get one on the hook here. Even though I've seen a few fish surface, between the wind knocking out my voice in the video and the 33 degrees Celsius that my truck's registering for an air temperature here in early September, I think it's time to hop in the truck and head back towards the lake. Appears to be a fair bit of current. I can just cast out there and it drifts right back in through here. You can start to see the mud line where the current from the dammed area is. Makes my life easy, especially when you're fishing from a bridge. We're getting nibbles over here a lot of them in this little point I have to get a little bit smaller hook on here see what we got trying to have dinner oh we got a little action here oh we might have a fish might have a tiny baby little fish on here oh look at that we got us a perch Looks like we're going to be keeping some fish today. Another one on. It's the problem with uh, using medium gear when you should be using ultralight for panfish. Is it's hard to tell what you got coming in. What we got here? This is Mr. Sheep's head. Mr. Sheep's head. Here we go. There's another one. There we go, what do we got here? Here's another perchy perch. We got another one on here. What do we got? Oh, I lost him. There's a little bit bigger perch too. Crap. Well, I had to pick up some tackle, and I figured I'd give Red Wolf a try. I've never used him before. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan. The sinkers had to be counterboard to get the line through it, and I've got some number 10 hooks from Red Wolf in the uh, cluster pack at the bottom. But everything I got out of the water came out on a Matsuo number 10. So I don't always say you have to spend a lot of money on tackle to get results, but when it comes to hooks, it sometimes makes a difference. Here we go. There's another fish on. There we go, get him up and away from the water. <laughs> Don't fall in the water myself. There we go. Oh, it's a goby. It's a freaking goby. Hey, this is the first time all day I've found a spot that's not out in the sun. The sun's setting, and I've got a bag of fresh perch in the truck for dinner, so I should probably wrap things up. 
Guys, if you get the chance to get out there and do some shore fishing in these tributaries and the canal systems, there's definitely fish hiding in there waiting to be caught. Well, tomorrow's our dove opener, and I haven't got any of my gear packed, so I gotta fly.